Archbishop of the Catholic Eparchy of Adigrat, Abunatas Vasilasi Medhin states, the occupation of parts of the region by Eritrean forces has made it difficult for him to reach the many believers and fulfill his pastoral duties. Parts of my diocese are under the forces of Eritrea since the beginning of war. I have not seen the face of my priests, of my faithful. You can imagine what someone feels in situation like this. I cannot reach to them, they cannot reach to me. I cannot travel within Tigray because of the security of roads. In places, in areas where I should fulfill my pastoral duties. The Archbishop highlights that he was sad to see children in Tigray struggling to stay alive while they should be going to school. The Catholic Church runs highest number of schools educating children in Tigray after the government. All our schools from KG to colleges are closed. Now we are entering a fourth year. Which country in which part of the world can feel sane while its children's education is deprived for more than three years? This is the biggest human crime that I can imagine. I am sad our students, students of our schools, all schools in Tigray, colleges, who could have started college and now being graduated third or fourth year, now they are struggling for life. Abunatas Fasilasi Medhin says his church is grateful to individuals and organizations that have been at the forefront of helping the many in need in Tigray but says he is disappointed to learn the response from the UN and different nations remains low. I'm grateful to any organizations, individuals, our own partners, uh, including the Holy Father, Pope Francis, who have several, several times voiced for peace and peaceful settlement and humanitarian access for Tigray people, those who are directly helping or those who are advocating for these humanitarian uh, services, be they individuals, organizations, or governments. Um, I, I am immensely grateful to this. At the same time, I see our world is helpless with regard to its international organizations like the United Nations. I mean, several attempts, several meetings, several statements are heard, but hundreds of thousands of people have died in Tigray since the beginning of discussions about Tigray in the followers of the United Nations. The Archbishop stresses the need for international organizations to follow their governing principles and act to save the lives of millions in Tigray. I really think that this kind of executive power that is in the hands of few, that may have been designed do after world wars for those services, I think is a high time to revisit the principles are perfect, very good, but the way these principles are put in practice, I would, I would, I would like very much to see a, a, a reform that considers ethical values, human values, as, as front line in, the, in these big institutions like the United Nations.